Hello there, this is Jaybird Drone and I'm out with the Mavic Air 2 today. And I'm going to go over some of the modes. Uh, the quick shot mode will be the first one that I'll do. So let's go ahead and make sure everything looks good on our pre-flight. Uh, 105 return to home altitude. Max altitude, maxed out. Max distance, maxed out. We got it recording on the SD card. That all looks good. And then also, let's check um, everything else. Let's look at the home point on the map. Let's go ahead and change this to satellite because I like the way that map looks better. I do the mix one. And then it gives you all the street names and everything also. Just waiting on that to load, and there we go. Okay, we got 18 satellites, 100% battery. Got the uh, cameras on auto exposure. Make sure everything else looks good. We got obstacle avoidance on. Compass is normal. IMU is normal. So that all looks good. And then another trick I wanted to tell you about um, is the catch when recording. That automatically, if you select it, will send a video to your phone. But I always unselect it because you don't want your phone to be bogged down on the RAM. So we're good on that front. Get everything else, HD definition, auto channel mode. Dual band is always the best route to go. Everything else looks good. We already did our firmware update. So we look good on that front. Let's go ahead and uh, take her on up. And my advice is to always let it hover over your home point so that sensor can sense the um, landing pad or whatever you use to do that so that's the pad there and we're going to tap the FN button because that's what I have it set on now we're going to go ahead and bring her on up that beeping noise is the obstacle avoidance beeping so let's go ahead and fly her out just a little bit and then turn her around to me Drop the gimbal down. There I am. And let's bring her in just slightly closer to me. That should be good. All right, now let's go ahead and try one of the uh, quick shot modes. Okay, I'm just gonna do, let's try the 100 foot. And you're going to select the plus on me, the target. And then let's go ahead and do the start. Three, two, one. And it'll do the uh, droney. Which is pretty cool. It'll go out 100 feet. And then once it's completed its process, it will return back to the start point. There we go, it's coming back now. Just want to get in all the features to show you guys. Okay, now she's back. Let's try another one. Let's try the uh, rocket. And let's try, eh, let's go up a little bit higher. Let's try 200 feet on that one. Select the plus sign. It's got me. Now let's go ahead and hit start. Three, two, one. And this will just go right over the top of me like a rocket. And then it will revert back down. 
Oh, we got our um, ADSB coming up. Manned aircraft approaching. Fly at a safe altitude. Yep, there it is, folks. That's telling me there's a uh, aircraft coming almost right at us. So let's make sure we uh, we're only going up 200 feet, and then I'll, it'll come back down. But that's the first time ADSB has kicked in. And I see the airplane actually coming our way. So she's coming back down now. That's really cool, folks. Let's go ahead and um, stop that. And I want to show you guys the uh, airplane in the uh, footage. Let's bring that camera gimbal all the way up. And that was right on the money, folks. That's really cool. You can see the airplane right there in the center of the screen. So ADSB is right on the money. That's really cool. I'm glad I was able to show you guys. And there goes the plane. Now it is out of our airspace. So let's go ahead and uh, bring her back down and try a different uh, quick shot. That's really cool, folks. Glad I was able to share that with you. That works pretty well for me, anyway. So let's try another function. Let's try the uh, circle. And then I'm going to select the plus because I'm the target I want it to target around. And then it will do... You can pick either clockwise or counterclockwise. Counter let's do counterclockwise. Three, I'm going to hit two, the plus. And this one will just circle around me and it will already um, select the altitude that you have on the um, on the height when you set the function and it will do a full circle and it will come back to its start point and it will stop on its own which I like Okay, we're back. Now let's try something else. Let's try the uh, the helix. I'm just gonna do. Yeah, let's do a hundred feet for the helix. Three, two. I always recommend one. having plenty of space around because this does not have side sensors on the Mavic Air 2 but uh, this is doing what they call the helix it's basically a little swirly around but I'm glad I was able to show you guys that function because I think that's really cool the uh, ADS-B alright I did the full 360 on me and then that should come back to us. You can always cancel this out also by hitting the uh, red X on the right side. Right here it comes. There we are. Okay, let's see. I think there's a boomerang. Let's go ahead and move her back over this way a little bit. Okay, let's try the uh, boomerang. See how that does. That's really cool. And we're back. 
Okay, and then I think there's one more. It's called Asteroid. And uh, let's go ahead and select me as the main focal point. And hit start. Three, two, one. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit all notifications. And I will keep you up to date on the latest and greatest new drones. And uh, we don't have to tell you that you're appreciated on my channel. Um, you already know you are and you're like family. So go ahead and join the family, folks. We're all important. And we don't have to tell people we're important. Okay, I hear another airplane. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. I think that's on the other side of us because I'm not seeing that. Okay, this is kind of a cool looking um, function on the, the um, gimbal. And a quick shot. Now it's coming back. Definitely got some cool features on this one, and it does perform better than the Mavic Mini. I know the uh, processor in this one's a lot better, so it will be able to do more with the functions. So it's returning back to the start point, and now let's see, I think that's all of them, folks. And now let's go ahead and go back to the uh, video portion. And I wanted to show you guys, you have to do this one though in 30 frames, it won't do the full 60, but you can draw a box around yourself. And then what you do is, we want this to be active track. So we're going to do trace because it doesn't have any side sensors and this will follow me. And then all you got to do is hit the stop in the middle if you want to stop the uh, follow me mode. But it's definitely right behind me. She's following me. And then if you look on the right side of this function, that's the circle me. Which is kind of cool also. She's following me. Go ahead and stop that one. Now let's go ahead and do it's still locked on me. Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, circle one. And you can select the speed on it and then hit go. I got it on medium speed. And she's just gonna circle around me. And you can also do this. Um, the opposite direction too I'm just showing you guys real quick but yeah that's all she does and she'll keep doing that until you hit stop that's pretty cool folks we can try the parallel on it let's see Okay, so let's try this. Parallel, go. And then she'll follow me on the side here. There is no side sensor, so be cautious, especially if you're in tight quarters with a lot of trees or obstacles in the area. But it's definitely going on the side, which is cool. Go ahead and stop that. That went away, so let's go back here. Okay, we're still good on that. Let's see what else we got here. 
hyperlapse and then you got pano I'll do the hyperlapse on another video I just wanted to show you some of the quick functions on this and so let's go ahead and fly her out because we're still good on the battery we got 58 percent In fact, let's go ahead and try the uh, obstacle avoidance. I still have it on normal mode. When you turn it on um, sport mode, it disables the obstacle avoidance. Let's go ahead and see if I can get a good shot on here. Let's fly her at the caddy and see how she does. Let's lower her down just a little bit. Kind of off in the distance, but... I think she's pretty close. See how well she gets. Let's lower her down just a little bit. And it will not. Up, and there it goes. It's going right above the caddy. And now we're getting a manned aircraft again, which is awfully cool. So I have both uh, settings on where it will uh, raise its altitude to avoid the obstacle and obstacle avoidance to where it will stop to prevent a um, accident. Up oh, here we go, folks, and it is almost right above us. So let's go ahead, if I can. Get a quick shot of that aircraft. Have my gimbal up enough to where I can see it. And as you can see, it is right above us. There it is, right in the center of the screen. And this one is right on the money. It is going away. This ADSB does work really well, folks. Wow, that is really cool. Now this drone will not act like a uh, transmitter, but it will um, act as a receiver, which means it will pick up the broadcast. Most uh, aircrafts have to have ADS-B since uh, January of this year. But yeah, that's really cool, guys. I could show you that. And the obstacle avoidance, really nice. DJI did a phenomenal job on this drone. Let's go ahead and lower this and see if she can pick up this tree here. If not, I will stop it, but let's go ahead and lower her down just a little bit. We're flying at the tree. Let's see what she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Might have been up too high, but it's really neat, folks. ADS-B does work. I know some people have had issues with it. But mine has worked really well. And the obstacle avoidance in that second setting to where it will uh, raise the altitude to avoid a collision works. As you saw on my caddy, it avoided it. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, we're just having a good day. The sun's shining. 84. Five degrees here in Ohio not a bad day to fly I'm thankful to get out today we've had a lot of rain so let's go ahead and just eat up a little bit more of this battery and I will do the uh, return to home thank you all again for watching my videos the outcome uh, has been great you all are like family, so thank you very much. So let's go ahead and, since we're at 44%, let's just do a little bit of a, a range on it. And then we'll uh, either let her return to home on her own, or I will hit the return to home button. I'm just doing a phone recorder on this so that will definitely improve 
your uh, battery life as well because you're not recording but I think the phone recorder does a nice job I use my Samsung pre-installed phone recorder because I find that that is the best recorder for this app plus it also helps that my phone has eight gigabytes of RAM which is huge to help support the application so we're just out here and uh, let's go ahead and hit the uh, return to home see how close we can get her to the landing pad so we did let her hover just a bit go home. Uh, before we took her on up which is always good to let the um, sensors do their job Not a bad little flight today. I was glad I was able to show you the quick shot uh, functions and ADSB in action. So it's going up to our home point. We're still good on the battery, but I'm just bringing her on back. Drops the gimbal down. It's gonna ride her on down with the gimbal. And then once it gets closer to the pad, the camera will revert back to the um, uh, center point. So she's just coming on back. Get the gimbal down, and then you can just tap the FN button. That brings her on back straight. Drops her back down. And as she's hovering above our heads, above the um, landing pad. Landing. So let's see how close she gets. The first time I took this out, it hit the pad right on the money. But um, wind and some other factors will um, hurt it. So I always want to keep that in mind. If it doesn't land on the pad, I'll stop the the landing and then do it manually or hand catch it so I don't want to fly it over the grass hit subscribe and hit all notifications now, we're not a big channel trying to make money but we're trying to help people and show people all the new features of these drones so up oh, here it goes 